As has been stated, the present working depth is 500 feet. Recoveries from greater depths are believed possible with further conditions. In November 1970, Quick Find participated in a fleet operation. The system was flown first to Point Magoo, California, and was then loaded aboard an airplane bound for San Nicolas Island in the Pacific Missile Range. The Oahu Naval Ammunition Depot was scheduled to conduct a quality assurance test of an instrumented ASROC depth charge in the waters adjacent to the island. Quick Find was to attempt the recovery. Test day was wet and foggy. The launch ship, the USS Orlick, waited for the fog to lift. Finally, at 15.30, the ASROC missile was fired. But nightfall and fog delayed its recovery until the next day. For this first operational use of the recovery system, two backup animals were brought along since it was not known how the sea lions would react after the long trip and to strange surroundings. It soon became apparent, however, that the animals were undisturbed and showed little interest in anything but the fish supply. When the YFU entered the recovery area, a crewman searched for the buoy that had been placed the day before to mark the location of a submerged missile. As the work boat approached the recovery site, a trainer checked the operation of the pinger receiver. Since the sea lion would wear no leash, a recall tone signaler would be carried. The buoy marking the ASROC depth charge water entry point 
had drifted during the night. It was necessary, therefore, to relocate the submerged weapon. The trainers, using a pinger receiver, re-established the recovery site. Then, while the second boat held that position, the trainers returned for the recovery equipment at a sea line. It was Turk who was selected to attempt the recovery. Bad weather and fog had again delayed the recovery attempt. The time was now 1500, and the missile had to be brought to the surface before nightfall. Divers, therefore, were alerted to stand by, ready if necessary to make the recovery. The missile had penetrated the bottom at a depth of approximately 180 feet. For the first time in U.S. naval history, a mammal other than man had been used to locate and attach recovery hardware on an operational test weapon. And because this was a first, divers descending the line the Turk had attached would check the grabber locking mechanism. Four divers are required for this type of operation. Two, breathing a special gas mixture, would descend to the target. Two safety divers, breathing compressed air, would descend partway and stand by, ready to give aid should an emergency arise. To get these men into the water, the support boat must have a decompression chamber and medical van on board, and a medical officer standing by. The divers found that the sea lion had effectively carried out its mission. The grabber was securely locked on the target. However, since nightfall was at hand, they attached an auxiliary lift line as an added precaution.
The method used to recover this test weapon is unusual. But the November 6th recovery operation demonstrated that the quick find system works. The system is easily transported as the 2,500 mile flight from Hawaii demonstrates. It is simple to use and in exceeding the working depth of human divers can fill a real operational need. Thanks to a California sea lion called Turk and others like it. 